Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Guess what? My son just got married over the weekend. We just returned from a destination wedding for them. It was a very quaint, small, absolutely precious ceremony. I'll give you some of those details as we move along. But today we're going to talk about how I chose my perfect mother of the groom hair and outfit. So I'm going to show you several different styles that I had it narrowed down to and I will reveal at the end the final verdict. The wig styles that I'm going to show you today are available at Wig Studio One. All you have to do is drop below the video, expand the description box. I will attach a product link there. Each one of them are labeled. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore all of the colors and the prices. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit us on our other social media. The most variety of any wig channel out there on YouTube, the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, a private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, and a well-appointed Instagram page. All of those links are below as well. So I chose three wigs to take with me. I had narrowed it down to three different wig choices. Among the three is what I'm wearing here, which is the Raquel Welch's Untold Story in Shaded Sand RL 1621SS. It's always perfect, isn't it? I mean, there's just something about a Raquel Welch style that it screams luxury. It looks just rich and just absolutely perfect. Untold Story features a beautiful extended lace front, a single hand tied monofilament top and a hand tied cap. It has some integrated wefting in there just to give some extra support. But it's really very realistic. Um, I could wear this up in any different style or manner. If the wind came along, I'm not worried about exposed wefting. There's wonderful coverage on this. It does fit me a little large like the typical Raquel Welch runs on me a little large, but I was able to make a really nice adjustment. So now let's talk about my outfit. So the wedding was going to be not so formal. Um, they just wanted their guests to be comfortable. Uh, this was more or less a sort of a sudden decision to have this wedding when they did. My son, uh, it, they were engaged to be married. Um, they had planned on a bigger, more elaborate ceremony next year. But my son is facing a medical discharge from the Air Force. And it was brought to his attention that if they wait to get married after he is discharged, sometimes it can be a real hassle to get the family on the VA benefits and things that he may be entitled to. So they decided to go ahead and move it up a bit. And they always love the mountains, the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, and decided to rent a little chapel uh, right there in Pigeon Forge. It was, it was perfect. It was so them. So I took my mom shopping to try to find the perfect outfit for the occasion. So this is one of the outfits that I ended up with. This is a beautiful, classy, elegant jumpsuit by Nine West found at Kohl's. And if I can locate a link, I'll put it down below. A lot of times when you ask me about my clothing, it's old and there's no longer links available. But this one is fairly new and it's a beautiful one piece jumper. A little short sleeve cuffed. It kind of looks like a, a military look at, at the bodice. And then it has a sash tie. And then it kind of blouses out into some wide flowing legs. Now, I'm really short, so I'm assuming that these legs are supposed to be you know, maybe just three-quarter length on the leg. Accentuates the waist. I fell in love with this little jumper, so I'm not a big dress person. The dresses that they had available there seemed a little stuffy and formal to me, or they were too casual. They had a lot of floral and maxi dresses and things. And that really wasn't my style. But when I found this jumpsuit, I thought, oh my goodness, this is it. I love it. And mind you, I ran my choices by the bride. So this was my hair and outfit choice number one. 
I put it in my suitcase and away we went um, so that I would have this to choose from when we got there. Okay, let's move on. I'm going to show you the second hairstyle that I chose to take with me. <laughs> now you understand the kind of decision that I was facing. They're all beautiful. This is the Editor's Pick Elite in RL1923 SS, my favorite shaded biscuit. I wanted to be in my comfort zone for sure, and Editor's Pick and Shaded Biscuit, that's right there. Now this is the Elite Editor's Pick, which features the hand-tied extended lace front, hand-tied full monofilament top, and then hand-tied panels all around with some integrated wefting. Uh, this one fits me slightly more snug compared to the original Editor's Pick that has open wefts. So if you find that the editor's pick is a little bit large, because Raquel Welch does run a little large, then the elite version of that same style might be for you. There's no permatease that I can sense in this one, but um, it does have a lot of bounce and volume. Those integrated weftings really give it a nice voluminous look with all this beautiful curl. It's at or above the color, which is my comfort zone and sweet spot. So this was really, really tough decision, guys. Uh, this was just super cute, and look, I mean, it's just perfect. This was an automatic shoe in for the final three that I was going to take with me. So let's see, I was actually gonna put this up in a little bit of a a style, not an updo necessarily, but just a little bit of a pullback, just something to give it a little bit of a, a special personality for the day. So what I was doing was I was trying to twist back the sides and pin them back. And I thought, gosh, that's really cute because it left all these beautiful curly tendrils around the face. And this isn't the best mirror. I do have a mirror now, it's just hard to see the back, but I was gonna do a little bit of a flip under too, so it had some interest in the back. I have another outfit that I'm going to show you and I'll leave on this beautiful editor's pick. To show. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Taz, that's the same outfit, just a different color. And you're absolutely right. This is another one of those Nine West uh, jumpers uh, from Kohl's. And I just couldn't decide on the color. They had the, the green, they had this cream, and they also had a black. Um, I chose these two because I, because I really couldn't decide. So I knew I loved that jumpsuit and wanted to wear it. As a final contestant, again, it was cream. I love cream and it always goes beautiful with the blondes that I have. So because I wasn't sure what the weather was gonna be like, it's really changeable this time of the year in the mountains, I took, uh, I took a beautiful shawl with me. It's called a Ruana. Um, let me grab it for you. This beautiful pumpkin color was just perfect for the fall season, don't you think? This is uh, another one from Kohl's, and it was, the brand of it is the, uh, the Lauren Conrad Ruana, and I'll link it below. And what I did was I just rolled it at the neck a little bit to bring it up because it's really long on me, and I was going to wear it just like this with this outfit. But as it turned out, it was about 80 degrees the day of the wedding. <laughs> so I was like, oh dear. I did not wear this at all. I didn't take it. Um, I mean, I didn't take it to the wedding with me. I did bring it with me to the, um, to the hotel, but I did not wear this piece. But I will love wearing it with my 
jeans and just about any anything. It could be casual, it could be dressy. It's really long and drapey as you'll see here. I have some little uh, ties that I could kind of bind this up to, to hold it right here. There's just so many different ways that you could wear this. But that pumpkin color with this cream, it just reminds me of pumpkin bars, iced pumpkin bars, where I'll make the pumpkin bar and then I'll put the cream cheese frosting on it. It's just, oh, I love this time of the year for food. Fall is my absolute favorite season for so many reasons. Okay, so we wanna take a look at my final contestant for the wig style that I wanted to wear as the mother of the groom to the wedding. This was my final choice of hair to bring with me. And it's just so super comfortable. This is Ellen Villa's turn in Champagne Rooted. It features a lace front and then it also has a monofilament part. Uh, Ellen Villa. It just feels like climbing into the most comfortable clothes you own. Um, it fits me beautifully. I have a more of a petite circumference and legacy Ellen Villa styles are generally very comfortable on me. They fit me not only all the way around but ear to ear and front to back and it just feels like a glove. Um, plus, gosh, look at this. It's all the curl you could ever want. And it has a beautiful, realistic lace front. It's swingy, it's, it's short. The color is beautiful. It's a bit sassy, not too sophisticated, very casual almost looking, but yet can be, obviously here can be dressed up very nicely. It's just so easy to wear and you know, you've got beautiful earrings, like little danglies. Oh, I love this style. I have loved it for a really long time. So let's go ahead and do the big reveal. What did I end up choosing? for my hair and my outfit to wear to the cute little ceremony at the chapel in Pigeon Forge for my son's wedding. I'm gonna reveal it to you in photos. So I'm gonna pop up a couple of photos here and I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can see what my ultimate choice was. Okay, so now you know. You know what my final choice of hair and outfit was, right? It was a beautiful, beautiful day. I absolutely chose correctly, but it's so hard, right? I took all three outfits and I really did not know which hair and outfit I was gonna choose until uh, the day of the wedding, actually. And it was just, you wake up one morning and I thought, um, you know, I had all set to wear the editor's pick with this cream suit, the one that I, the combination that I showed you before this. And something just told me to wear turn. And I think it was a, a comfort thing. Like, I just feel so movable and free, um, casual, and I've got a lot of energy, and I really didn't want to get too sophisticated. It was just. A lot of intuition went into that decision and it was the absolute right decision. So congratulations, prayers and blessings for my son and his new wife. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day and week. We'll see you soon.